you're tuning in to Empowering the Hearts of God's People with Prophetess Sharita Berry. Join us as we go forth in transforming the nations with the Word of God. Good evening, good evening, good evening, for truly this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in him. Glory to God. I give God the glory and I give him the honor on tonight. Glory to God. But for being the God of my life, glory to God. I give God the glory and the honor on tonight for being a mighty God, for being a just God, for being a faithful God, for being a God that is never late, that is always on time, glory to God. And I just wanted to encourage someone on tonight, glory to God, in the name of Jesus, to let you know, I don't know all that you're dealing with. I don't know all that your your circumstances, your issues, your problems. I don't know what you're facing, but the spirit of the Lord that lives and dwells within me knows. Glory to God. I don't know what you're coming up against. I don't know, uh, glory to God, the thoughts that you're thinking. Why? Because I'm not in your mind because it's the mind of Christ that is in you. Glory to God. So I want to encourage those on tonight to stand on God's word, to stand on his promise promises glory to God you know hey we're about to close out of March and we're about to go into the month of uh, April it's four months already into the year 2019 and we still got a few more months to go glory to God and I just want to and I just want to let you know you know you may have not received that which you thought that you was going to receive this year but let me tell you something this year is not over yet God is not done yet he is not through with your life yet glory to God He's still moving. He's still doing. Uh, he He's not getting ready to bless you for he has already blessed you. But it's according to your faith that you receive. It's according to your faith that you believe. Glory to God. You may have not gotten that raise uh, two weeks ago. You may have not gotten that promotion that you thought that you was going to get. But let me tell you something. God is still, he's still God. He is still God. Glory to God. He is still God. He, he sits high and he looks low. He has, he is still on the throne. Glory to God. He is not, he has not left you le yet. Glory to God. He has not given up on you. Glory to God. So don't give up on God. Glory to God. Don't give up on his promises. Stand on his promises. Glory to God. And you know something? I was always, I have been always been taught glory to God and I thank God for uh, for me that he put in me and instilled in me a teachable spirit glory to God and I'm able to receive those things that I need to receive glory to God and I have always been taught glory to God to remind God of his word so on this weekend yes it's the weekend it's Friday we have Saturday we have Sunday glory to God yes it's the weekend glory to God but let me tell you something God is still moving glory to God he is still knocking on somebody's door right now glory to God he is ringing somebody's phone right now glory to God he had something is on the way to your address right now glory to God he is still God he the word of God says thank you Holy Spirit the word of God said he is the same God yesterday today and and forevermore. Glory to God. What the word says, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. So let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what it looks like today. Just know he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Glory to God. If God moved on your behalf yesterday, he's going to move on your behalf again. If God turned that situation around that you're facing yet again, he's going to turn it around. Glory to God. If God opened the door on your behalf that time, he's going to do it again. He has no respect to God. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. Glory to God. I can sit around 
and I can beat myself up. I can boo-hoo and have a pity party, but having a pity party and boo-hoo and beating myself up, that's not going to change nothing. Glory to God. And I'm here to let you know, glory to God, having a pity party, uh, uh, doing the woe is me, always complaining, God this and God, that's not going to change the situation. Glory to God. That may make the situation worse than what it already is, but why not do this for a chance? Glory to God. When things get rough, when things get tough, glory to God, when it seemed like all hell is breaking loose in your house, when it seemed like all hell is breaking loose in your your atmosphere, when it seemed like all hell is breaking loose in your personal life, within your personal space, why not take that opportunity and rise up and begin to give God praise, glory to God, when it seems like Glory to God. The wind is rushing at you. Glory to God. When the wind is contrary, you know, because they were in a boat, Jesus was asleep and the wind was contrary. Glory to God. Jesus stood up and he, he, he calmed the wind. Peace be still. The wind hearken unto his voice. Glory to God. So why not when the storms are coming up against you? Glory to God. When the trials and the tribulations are coming up against you, why not stand and cry out loud and blow your trumpet? Glory to God. And begin to praise him in the midst of your storm. See, I don't know what you dealt with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Glory to God. But God knows. Glory to God. So he's giving you the opportunity before the night closes out to just thank him, to just praise him, to just glorify him, to just magnify him, to just, you know, he's a mighty God. He is Adonai. He is Elohim. He is El Shaddai. Glory to God. He has many names. Glory to God. Many names. But you know something? He is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Glory to God. I'm excited to know that the God that I serve, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory to God. The one that spoke me into existence. The one that spoke you into existence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is still the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. I want to encourage someone on tonight. Glory to God. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't even look behind you. But if you put your eyes on the prize, which is Jesus Christ, glory to God. God. It says, if I look to the hills, what's coming my help my help comes from the Lord. What does your help come from on today, tonight? Glory to God. Even if you're tuning in from a different time zone, glory to God. We are still the afternoon in some places. It's going on in the morning in other countries. Glory to God. It says, if I look to the hills, if I just look, hallelujah, my help comes from the Lord. Glory to God. Sometimes you just need to look to the hills. Glory to God. Because that's where your help is coming from. Glory to God. Sometimes you just need to get up, shake yourself loose, shake the dust off, and just come on, give God a praise, a mighty praise, glory to God, and just worship him in spirit and in truth, glory to God. When you want to do evil, glory to God, when evil is always present, but the spirit of the Lord overtakes that, glory to God. When you want to sin, glory to God, but God comes in, glory to God. When you don't want to do what God tells you to do, but somehow the spirit of the Lord rises up on the inside of you. Glory to God. Somebody needs to be encouraged on tonight. Somebody needs to know on tonight that God is your ever, is your ever, is he's there. He's, he's right there. He said that we draw not to him. He will draw not to us. Glory to God. It's no, I'm waiting on God. No, we got to get out of that saying I'm waiting on God. Because God has been saying it forever. He's waiting on us. He's waiting on us. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on me to praise him. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on me to worship him. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on me to get, to honor him, to glorify him. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Jesus. You can't do it without God. You can't make it without him. Glory to God. There is no existence outside of him. Glory to God. But there is existence when you come to the knowing and to the understanding of knowing who he is and who you are in him. Glory to God. Isn't that something? Glory to God. God wants to, God wants to take you to a place. Glory to God. He's trying to get you somewhere. Glory to God. He's trying to put you in position, glory to God, but you're studying, uh, uh, getting out of position when God say, I need you to get in position, glory to God. I need to align you up, glory to God, because there are things, there is a purpose, there's a plan. Now, I'm reminded in the word of God that he says, for he know the thoughts and plans that he has towards us, thoughts of good, not of evil to give us expected in, glory to God. God knows every thought and he knows every plan that he has for you and I, glory to God, and it's good. When I say good, G-O-O-D, capital G, capital O, capital O, capital D, it is good. Glory to God. It's the enemy that has evil intentions for us. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to encourage someone on tonight to keep your head up. Keep your head hell high. Glory to God. Yes, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Glory to God. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Glory to God. God sees your tears. He knows what's in your heart. Glory to God. He knows the prayer that you have been petitioning to him. Just don't make it be, don't just be, don't be like the, the Pharisees and all of them. They were, you know, they wanted to be seen. Don't do the repetitious thing. Glory to God. But God sees and he knows glory to God and he also understands glory to God so if you think God don't understand what you're going through right now let me tell you something he understands what you're dealing with he knows what you're going through glory to God he knows what's going on around you glory to God he knows what's coming up against you glory to God but can you look to the hills what's coming your help and your help comes from the Lord glory to God can you just do this one thing finally and begin to take the weights off your shoulders and give it to him finally can you just do this one thing and go to the altar and just lay it there and don't pick it up this time glory to God and sometimes we wonder how come we're still dealing with the trouble how come we're still dealing with the chaos how come we're still dealing with the confusion how come we're still dealing with this that that how come Lord and sometimes God say when you went when you came to me in prayer and you left it at my feet, you turned back around and you picked it up. So how come you picked it up when God said, just leave it at his feet? Glory to God. Leave it at his feet. Place it there and give it all to God. You know the song, I surrender it all. I surrender it all. Mind, body, and soul. Because I don't belong to myself. You don't belong to yourself. Glory to God. Surrender it all to, tonight to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is you. You have the power on the inside of you to change. Glory to God. Your atmosphere. Glory to God. You had the power and authority on the inside of you to speak to the mountain and that mountain that's been standing in your way every single day will shall be removed. All you have to do is get, get your, get in a backbone, get, get that backbone and, and reach down, pull out that boldness that God has placed on the inside of you and rise up. Glory to God with the authority and power that he has given unto you. And that mountain that you, that's in your life right now, it will be removed. Glory to God. Ask me how I know. Glory to God. You're saying, Lord, I, I just can't. God, I don't know. Let me tell you, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to. Um, um, that stuff is not in, that's not a part of God's vocabulary. I'm sorry. I can't comes from the wicked one. I don't know how comes from the wicked one because I'm reminded in the word I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said you can and you shall and you will. Glory to God. I'm here to let somebody know on tonight that you shall recover it all. Glory to God. You shall recover it all. Not one thing, but God said you shall recover it all. Glory to God. It's up to you. It's according to your faith. Do you believe on tonight? Glory to God. Do you take God's word? Do you, can you, hey, give him back his word. Glory to God. God is not getting ready to do anything because it defeats the purpose to what he has already said he done for you and I. Glory to God. The pastor said, God getting ready to do this. The apostle said, God ready to get ready to do this. The prophet said, God getting ready to do this. Uh, the evangelist said, God getting ready to do this. No, God said he already done that, which he has already spoken over your life. Hebrews 11 and one says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. What does that tell us? Glory to God. God has already done that which he said in the realm of the spirit so it's up to us to speak it into existence to call forth that thing glory to God just because you don't see it does not mean it's not there glory to God just because you don't see your healing does not mean you are you're not healed glory to God hallelujah some of y'all need healing on tonight you, God, I need healing. My legs hurt. My back hurt. My head hurt. My arm hurt. God, I got this cramp. I got this ache. God, the doctor said this. The nurse said that. They told me this. They told, let me tell you something. Just because you don't see the healing does not mean that you are already healed. For God said that you are already healed, but you have to start believing that you are already healed in Jesus name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just because you don't see the breakthrough does not mean that you the breakthrough is not there. You got to receive the breakthrough. Glory to God. If you just get up and begin to walk towards see the breakthrough ain't going to come. You got to walk towards the breakthrough. You got to meet it in the middle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I need deliverance. Where, where I need deliverance? Well, you already have deliverance, but it's up to you to receive the deliverance. Glory to God. God, I need salvation. You have already been given salvation. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We already are healed. We are already delivered. We already have our breakthrough. We have already been set free. Salvation has already been given unto us. How? When Jesus went on that tree and he gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost. When he went on, he said, it, it, he gave it up. That's how we got out delivered. We got eternal life through him. And we got, we got the healing, deliver, all that stuff. But it's up to you to receive it. I cannot receive it for you. I can touch and agree. Your pastor can't receive it for you. They, he or she can touch and agree. The prophet that you run to with your itching ears all the time can't get it for you. You got to receive it for yourself. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. It's up to you. It's up to us this hour. Because the next hour is not promised to any of us. Glory to God. It's up to you. Glory to God. When God comes, when the son of man comes back, he's not going to judge you because the prophet said. He's not going to judge you because the pastor said. He's not going to judge you because the apostle said. He's not going to judge you because the preacher said, the teacher said, the evangelist said, the minister said. No, he's going to judge you because of what? You did and what you didn't do, glory to God. He judges us according to our works. Glory to God. Not nobody else's works. <laughs> not your husband works. Not your daughter's works. Not your wife works. Not your son works. He judges us according to our works. Glory to God. People, God, be encouraged this weekend. Whatever the spirit of the Lord is speaking to you in this hour, do it. Don't say I'm waiting on God because he would never spoken into your spirit this today 
because he waiting on you to execute the plan that he is giving unto you. He's giving you a vision. Start executing it. Oh, I'm wait to next year. Next year is not promised to any of us. Glory to God. Do you want to know why? Let me break it down to you. Do you want to know why a lot of us in the body of Christ are still, glory to God, in the same spot we was last year? Why? Because we kept saying, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. A lot of people were scared. A lot of people, uh, because, oh, I, I need this and I know uh, it's so many things, but you fail to take the initiative to step out on faith. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I've been through some trials. I've been through some, let me be transparent. I've been through some stuff last year. And when I say I've been through some stuff, him was about to get put out. Had no lights, had no running water in my house, had no food. My son had overdosed two times. Let me tell you, he could have been dead. Then my daughter had tried to kill herself. I've been through some stuff. Glory to God. I don't mind being transparent, but because I've been through those things and I had to experience those things, I did not stop giving God praise. In spite of what I was dealing with, I continued on to do the work of the Lord. I didn't allow, oh, when the enemy came in my ear and say, oh, your son overdosed, he going to die. Oh, your daughter tried to kill herself, she going to die. Oh, oh, you don't have no lights, you don't have no water, you don't have no food, this is going to happen to you. And oh, No, in spite of all that I've been through, I reminded myself. If God did it before, he going to do it again. If God came through for me before, he going to come through for me again. Glory to God. There's a cost. There's a price to pay when you take up the cross. Glory to God. There's a price to bear when you say, okay, when you say, yes, Jesus, when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes, there's a, there is a price. The oil that is upon our life, there's a price to pay for it. Glory to God. Did Jesus said it was going to be easy? No, he did not. Did he say we wasn't going to experience things? No, he did not. Did he say we're what we were not going to be persecuted? No, he did not. Did he say that we're not going to be tested and tried? No, he did not. Did he say that we're not going to, did he say that the mountain wasn't going to rise up? No, he did not. Did he said, he said no weapon. That means the test and the trials, yo, yo, Yea, they may form, but they will not prosper. Glory to God. Did he say that that gunshot wasn't going to kill you? Hell, it tried to kill you, but it didn't prosper. Glory to God. Did he say, Sharita, all that which you've been through this year and um, this year and last year, we're going to take you out. No, he didn't say that. He said, you got to go through this. Because I had to realize I wasn't going for, through it for myself. Had to realize that I was going through it for some other person, for some other woman, for some other uh, uh, mother, for some other leader. Glory to God. So to you leaders out there and you saying, oh, you know, it's so hard and this, you know, it's, you know, and you may be doing ministry by yourself. Oh God, it's so hard and this and that. I just can't take, let me tell you something. Hang in there. If you're a husband and a wife team and you're doing ministry, hang in there. Hang in there. Don't throw in the towel because see the enemy wants you to throw in the towel. He wants you to give up. It's, it's not even, you know, we're not even dealing with Satan because see God already took care of him. We're dealing with principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of darkness. We're dealing with these itty bitty, itty bitty imps that look like crunch monsters. If you ever seen a movie gremlins, gremlins if i've seen that movie a lot of times and don't get brand new oh i don't watch horror movies everybody's seen gremlins before i have 
and, and, and them little things is they that's how imps look, but they look 10 times uglier than that. And that's how small they are. Literally, you can pick up your feet and stomp on one of them. Let me tell you something. I know it get hard and I know sometimes it get tedious and yes, we get tired. Yes, we, we get overwhelmed. But let me tell you something. God is holding you up. He's walking you through it. He's going to see you through it. Glory to God. See that assignment that you have. He would never gave it to you if he let, knew that you could handle it. Glory to God. So he gave it to you because he knew that you can handle it because of what he placed in you. Glory to God. You are well equipped to do what God has called you to do. You are well equipped to go out to the highways and to the byways. You are well equipped to go and stand on a corner and compel them to come. Not to compel them to come to no building. No. That's that's not what compelled them to come in means compel them to come to Christ. Glory to God. Make disciples. Glory to God. God equipped you for it. Glory to God. So if you don't know who you are, all you got to do is ask God. The Lord will break it down to you on the elementary level to a point that you will understand. God will break it down to you. The assignment that he has given unto you so that you can understand. Now, let me tell you a lot. Like my sister, my sister was asking me something yesterday and she said, well, I wanted to ask the person, how do we get to this place? She said, I don't know. And I told her the Lord had me to tell her sometimes, a lot of times there are things that we are not to try to figure out and to understand. There are things that will take place in our life that's will just take place. You may not understand how, what, who, why, when, and all that stuff, but God will give you an understanding to, that lines up with the purpose and the plan that he has for your life. Glory to God. So be encouraged on this weekend. Don't let what Susie say on Sunday get to you. Don't be, and let me tell you, when the pastor comes and bring correction, accept it. Glory to God. Ask God to teach you how to accept co constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with it. I had to learn how I had to learn it. Con constructive criticism is not going to hurt you. It's not going to harm you. It's just to, it's going to help you for where God is taking you. Glory to God. So, uh, to, so accept it. Glory to God. If somebody sees something that is, is, is out of, not kind of right and God brings it to their attention and then the Lord tells them to come to you, to bring it to your attention. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Just accept it. And then you ask God to show you how to fix that, which need to be fixed. Don't be a messy person. God says he's a, God is a God of excellence and everything we do, especially our life should be a life of excellence because he's an excellent God. People are watching our walk. They watching my walk and they watching your walk. They watching how you live for Christ and based on how you live for Christ is based is determined if they going to come to Christ. So if you live a messy lifestyle, contrary to the word of God, outside of the word of God, then, hey, they going to think it's OK. I just come to encourage someone on tonight. Glory to God. That's all just a weekend encouragement. Glory to God, to touch on some different things that the Lord placed in my spirit. Glory to God. You all have an awesome weekend. Glory to God. And remember, God is not done with you yet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is not done with you yet. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. The work that he started in you, he said he shall complete it until the end and your end has not come. And I want to leave you all with this on tonight. Glory to God. The word of God says you shall live and not die for you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Let me tell you something. Your sickness is not until death. Glory to God. You shall live to fulfill every purpose that God has placed you here on this earth to do. Glory to God. I mean everything that the Lord has deemed and predestined you to do. You shall not die off before your time. So no matter what the doctor tell you, glory to God, or what that nurse tell you, or no matter what that report, that blood report tells you, no matter what the x-ray shows you, let me tell you something. The word of God said you shall live and not die for you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. So I'm here to tell you, my sister, my brother. Whatever disease, whatever ailment, whatever sickness that you have in, in your body, the word of God said it is not until death. You will not die before your time. You will not go out of up out of here until everything that God has placed you here on this earth has been fulfilled. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You all be blessed. Be blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you are a blessed generation. Glory to God. You are a blessed generation. Glory to God. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Glory to God. You all have an awesome day in the Lord. Continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you and your household. Be blessed. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Remember, you can connect with us on Facebook at Sharita Mary Ministries or contact us at 919-438-1473. That's 919-438-1473. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you and your family.